Oh, I can already see how this video is gonna go. Come on, because I've got to cook the supper. Oh dear God, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> Oh, professionalism, come okay, on. Okay, come on. You're an actress, I'm a YouTuber, slash TikToker, whichever way you want to see it. Hello people, how are we doing? Welcome to another Q&A. This is my mum, Finty. Hello. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you are here regularly, hello, nice to see you again. How do you feel that you're on my channel properly being introduced? Normally you're just in the blogs, kind of in the background saying hi. Oh, I, I feel extremely privileged. It's good. This is this is a privilege. This is a privilege. This can go on your acting CV. Yes, it certainly can. At the top. Definitely at the top. Stop looking at me. I can see you're looking at me. <laughs> on today's Q and A, we're going to be asking my mother uh, some of her favourite memories about me, and uh, what we like to do when we hang out, and also what she does as a career. So let's get into these questions. First up, very simple, full name. Tara Cressida Francis with <laughs> It's the easiest question! I don't know whether it's about you or me! I've done my Q&A, have you not been watching my Q&As? No, but you just said it's things about you, it's a Q&A <laughs> about you! No, I said it's a Q&A about me and my life and what we do to hang out! When I smile like this, I look like a cocker. Okay, first yeah. basic question, okay. full name. My full name. Your full name, Tara. not mine, people know mine. Tara Cressida Francis Williams, but I'm known as Finty. It's her stage name. It's my nickname, True. which my father gave me when I was born. Second on the list is, what is your occupation? Um, mother, actress, voiceover person, uh, audiobook reader, housekeeper, uh, tidy wrapper, and washer of clothes. And mother, and of, mother cats. of cats. Good minds think alike there. I, yeah. I didn't even say that before. Okay, so uh, what is your full bank details and your mother's maiden name? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Damn it! Well, I wouldn't want it to go out online. I just wanted it for... Just for you. Yeah. yeah. Apple Pay? Hello. I used the wrong side of the phone. How many years have you been an actress? 33. 32 and a half since the 1st of April 1990. That's quite a long time. That's yeah. that's more than I've been alive. Yeah, okay. a, a lot more than you've been alive. Yeah, I mean, I I've seen you. When I started I've seen you in many, many shows, but you probably did a lot more before I was born. Not many. Enough. I'm a good son. What is your favourite film? Ooh. Or I have different favourite films for different moods. So, okay. I think probably all-time favourite film, Dirty Dancing. Which you've never watched with me. You didn't say Jurassic Park! My next answer was going to be Jurassic Park. <laughs> the first one. And the fourth one. I like those ones especially. You mean Jurassic World? Yes. Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. What, the first ones of the franchises? Yes. Fair. Uh, I also like um, Henry V. Yeah. Kenneth Branagh's Henry V. I also... Uh, I, I quite like Cocktail, the Tom Cruise film. Fair. Watched that again the other night. Big fan of that. Yeah. And Top Gun. And what is the film that if no one else was in the house and you were here on your own, what would be the film that you watched? Oh, um, Chorus Line, because I do all the dances, because my friend Serena Tell and I learnt them all when we were 15. So I'd put my leg warmers on and I'd try, try and attempt to still do the dances. I am quite glad I wouldn't be in the house if you're wearing leg warmers. Yeah, I just leg warmers. No, just. <laughs> Okay, each yeah. to their own. Yeah. So the next question is, what do you enjoy most in life? Um, being with friends, being with the people I love. I agree with that. Uh, the three of us being together, yeah. you, me and Ma. Uh, or me and the two cats. Well, I was going to say time with the cats. Brilliant. Uh, and 
singing. Singing? Yeah. La 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 la. Whether that's us singing or going and watching other people who are infinitely better than us singing. Or... I love that so much. <laughs> it's all love fun it. and games on these Q&As. Love it. Um, next? What has been your favourite memory of mine? I didn't give mum any of these questions beforehand, so there's going to be a lot of cutting during this q and I, I mean, all the time I spend with you is my favourite time. Uh, but I do like it. I like a good road trip with you when we have a playlist of musicals. A bit like Barry Manilow. A bit like when we went to Barry Manilow. That was good, that was good afternoon. That was really good. I've made Sammy sing musical duets with me since he was seven? When did you yeah, probably. Yeah, probably quite seven. early on. Yeah. yeah. I've also just realized that there's a bit of orange tomato soup on my screen right on your face. I was, throughout that whole question, I was like, what is on mum's head? And I couldn't see it. And realised there was a bit of tomato soup from my vlog that I filmed earlier. I like this question. Okay. What was Sam like as a child and how does he compare to now? Just got a beard. He's just, genuinely, I'm really not just saying this because he's sitting here. He's genuinely been one of the kindest people from when he was really tiny. Uh, He's always been one of the kindest people I've ever met. Uh, and now he's kind with a beard and a bit more washing to do. Best of boys and best of men. I'll take that. So this is a question that I've kind of asked you before and we've spoken very kind of briefly about it. And it's something that has happened quite recently in our lives. But what do you think of my career in social media? Uh, I'm, I'm extremely proud of you and I'm extremely impressed by how hard you're working and by your imagination and your commitment to it. Um, and it's just, it's really lovely that I get to read things that people have said about you that, that share the same opinion of you as I have. Yeah, I love it. And so... As long as you support me in it, then... I support you in whatever you ever want to do. Stripper? No. Actually, no one wants to see that. This actually comes from Perry. Lovely Perry. Yeah. Friend Perry. Yeah. Any dream shows or roles you would like to be in, musical or play? I'd like to be in six more than anything else, but I'm too old and I can't sing like that and I can't dance like that. But that would be a dream role. I'll play Jane Seymour in six. Okay. Uh, realistically, yeah. um, I would like to play Miss Adelaide in Guys and Dolls, um, and uh, apart from that, almost anything that anybody offers me. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a share hunt. Do you believe in love after- That's being cut out. Okay, this is actually a question that you have kind of asked me in the past, uh, but I've never really asked you. What is the only thing that you've been embarrassed about me doing? Um, that's actually quite easy. So when you were two and a half, we took you to Barbados for the first time. And we were incredibly lucky to be there. And uh, on our last day, everybody was totally enchanted by Sammy. And he had one of those little zip up swimming things on to keep the sun off him as well. And on the last day, he had water wings on and he managed to, we were all sitting by the pool, he managed to unzip the whole of the front of the thing and then we into the pool. He stood at the edge of the pool and weed into the pool with his little water wings on. That was, that was quite good. And I've seen a pool empty faster. And that was only last week? Yeah. <laughs> There are a lot less answers I expected to come out of mum's mouth just then. So I'm glad you kept those in. Oh, it's always quite good. It's always quite good to gauge how drunk Sammy is. Whether if he can sing Galway Girl by Ed Sheeran. Because we all know I can sing every lyric to any Ed Sheeran song. But give me a few whiskeys and then it's game over for game Galway over. Girl. I might anonymously post the video that I've got of you. <laughs> Which is the funniest thing I've ever seen. You wouldn't dare. Uh... Oh. 
So this is kind of coming back to uh, your favourite roles. Uh, if we were both in a show together, what show would it be and what parts would we play? Oh, does that have to be realistic? Uh, kind of, because it can't be like Dear Evan Hansen because I'm not kissing my mother. No, no, but I could play your mother in Dear Evan Hansen. Yeah, that's very true. I'll do that. I'll take that. Okay. Oh, I, I couldn't remotely do it justice. Yeah, I, there was no way. I don't think either of us would particularly. Sam Tutty definitely dominates the ginger, twenty, like mid-20 age, dear Evan Hansen. But he can really sing. Uh, and we've also heard waving through a window probably every single day. Sam Williams, Sam Tutty. Yeah. Olivier Award winner, YouTuber. Sings in his room. There's nothing bad about singing in your it's room. Nothing, nothing. We'll do that, we could do that, definitely. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Okay. It is coming off, so we can't be casting it yet. <laughs> and I don't think we would be anyway. I think we could. There's a good chance. You more than me. No way. No way. Okay. This is something actually that since living in this house has been done more. But what's your well, favourite? I've done your washing. What is the best thing you cook me? Silence. <laughs> Uh, no, um... Hello, darkness, my old friend. No, um... <laughs> roast chicken. With roast potatoes. Okay, I'll give you that one. And gravy. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Thank you. I don't think there's actually anything else... That's, that's such a staple of something you cook, because Ma cooked it and then you've been cooking it. Yeah. That actually... We are quite bad because we order a lot of takeaways. You order a lot of takeaways. Uh, sorry, I came home last night and there was a Chinese on the side. Let's so not. I've been out all day. Let's not argue about this. And I it's bought a... half of it for you. It's a lovely Q and A. We're having a lovely time. Lovely time. <laughs> sorry, I just saw the cat tower behind you makes you look like a really crap Teletubby. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> So this question, if you answer it incorrectly, because there is a wrong answer, there's going to be two furry people in this house that aren't going to be happy. Cats or dogs? Cats. Why? Because cats are just top. Although, we do, when we're driving in the car, we do, whenever you see a dog, it, it's almost obligatory to shout dog at the top or of your papa. voice. Or papa. Or papa. Um, also, Joe gets quite cross with me when we go walking in the park because I approach dogs um, in a fairly over-effusive way and I think some of their owners think I'm going to steal them. So up next is, what did you think of me getting into trouble at school? Which I have to add in, I never got in trouble at primary school. Ever. You didn't really get in trouble at senior school. A little bit. Not that much. You you just weren't that kind of person. No, because I did my homework and my mates would copy my uh, my answers. So actually, I'm not the one in the wrong, it's my mates. And the one person I'm talking about, if he is watching this video, will know exactly what it is about. Dr. Walsh, chemistry, not naming any names. But you didn't get in trouble at school. No. You sometimes forgot to do homework. Yeah. But that was because I didn't like school very much. Yes. So I didn't want to bring it home. No, I understand that. And sometimes you didn't bring home your entire games kit as well. That was that, that is, was fun. That's a that's an achievement that I've actually put on my CV for whenever a, a, like a new person wants to hire me. Yeah. Uh, top of the list is always don't bring home my PE kit. Yeah. Have the ability to lose an entire sports kit in one or week. Or just one shin pad. How do you do that? How do you lose one shin pad? It's always on a Friday and we had we had sports on a Friday afternoon and it was the last activity of the day. But how do you just lose one? Because after games you could just go home. So it was like rush out of the changing room. So but you put just put one in your bag. It's quite easy to put two in your bag. Yeah, but then you could say the same thing about dogs and cats. You could be, why would they you They don't put... forget to put their shin pads in the bag. <laughs> in fact, they don't have shin pads. They don't have sh They must have shins. I don't think cats have shins. Do cats have shins? This is on nostupidquestions.com. Uh, do cats have shins? Cats have knees, so they have shins. They have a tibia, shin bone, 
on the hind legs. So actually they're wearing shin pads on the backs of their legs. Do so they cats have knees? Yeah, cats cats have to have knees. They bend their legs, mum. I like this question because this is a question that I I like hanging out with you and we have fun. Uh the memory that comes into your head when you think of us hanging out or being together. It's being in the car, driving. And I remember a specific journey where we were with our friend Stephen Brunson Lewis, who's known Sammy since he was 10 days old. And it was just after Ghost had come out. And we were in the car with Stephen and Joe, and you and me, and we sang the trio from the end of the first half of Ghost. <laughs> I hope all producers are watching knowing. But he can really sing that. That makes me really happy when you sing that. Stop sniffing our roses. They were sniffing our roses. It's fine. It's allowed to sniff the roses, they smell nice. Look like a guinea pig. Yes, you do. Or a hamster. A hamster. There's no yeah, there's P. There's no P in hamster. So we're coming into the final few questions. Um, but if your life had a motto, what would it be? It would be two things. It would be look for the pluses. That's why I got my tattoo. Look for the positives in life. Yeah. And always be ready and willing to say sorry if you have made a mistake. But don't say it if you haven't. That's, I, I will agree with that one. Because I say sorry a lot when I don't actually need to, so. And tell the people that you love that you love them a lot. <gasps> That's another trait that I've got of Evan from Dear Evan Hansen is I say sorry a lot. Yeah, you do, I do as well. Yeah, I'm one step closer to being Dear Evan Hansen. No, no one is waving back at me. Oh, no, is anyone waving back at me? No, no. And there were two people passing. Great. This question has come from one of my mates, uh, Mr. Charles Goff. Oh. Who is your favourite son? I have to give compliments. <laughs> <laughs> I have to give context because all of my friends, like my best friends, are basically like my brothers. So um, they're all kind of sons to uh, to mum. And all the people who've played my sons in plays. Sons and daughters. I've got a whole list of brothers and sisters. Yeah. There Starting are... with Felicity Jones. Yeah. Wait, um, wait, you just said starting with Felicity Jones. What, is she your favourite? No. Oh. Uh, uh, thank you, Charles Goff, for that question. Uh, I love this one the most. This one right here. Uh, but I love you all hugely and it's a real joy to see all of you together because even though you're all 25 or nearly 25 there are moments when i catch sight of you all running around playing football and it just doesn't seem that long ago that you were seven and running around the garden playing football and it's it's a real proper honor to see you all as the men that you are living the lives that you have. The second to last question is, what is your favourite thing to do when you have nothing planned at the start of a day? Ooh, uh... Would you rather have lots to do? Like, go out and do stuff, like go to the aquarium? Because that is something we love to do anyway when we have do a Do you mean day. with you? No, nope. uh, just when we... Do you mean on we... my own? Yeah. Oh, tricky. I think if it's the winter, and I've been really busy. Can I be really busy and then like have a day off? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would bring the duvet down from upstairs and I would order all the food that I wanted to eat that day. And I would sit in front of the television and watch reality television and crime, true crime shows all day, all day, happily. Um, but if it's the summer and if it's a lovely day, uh, I'll I'll probably have housework to do. Um, but then I'd probably head into town and go to our favourite cafe and sit. Because inevitably, after a moment, you see someone you know. Because I don't actually like being on my own that much. So I'd probably go and hunt people out. Yeah, I don't think either of us like to be on our own that no. much. I don't like my own company. I like my own company for about three or four hours. And then I'm like, yeah, I want to see a friend or something. Yeah. I always, that's what I said in my vlog the other day. I was like, I am I am busy because I do just hang out with my friends because I don't like my own company. 
this isn't actually a question. Uh, this is more a comment that I had like four or five times during the uh, during my Instagram questions. Uh, she doesn't look Instagram questions. Yeah, these are all from my followers. That's quite scary. Okay. Uh, she doesn't look old enough to be your mum. God bless you all. Uh, good lighting, good makeup, and I am very much old enough to be his mother. Very much. I'm going to crop that and say that you're 60. <laughs> Another question that we've just got in from my friend Sarah. Do you have any more Netflix series in the pipeline? No, sadly I don't. Because mum was in a Netflix TV series called The A-List that came out uh, just as lockdown was ago. lifting. No, it came out a year ago. Ah, but she spent how long in Wales on your own? Uh, I was there for a period of time. I was in a flat on my own and the only other person I saw was the medic who came to do the COVID tests. I was in my flat for 19 days. Not okay, not okay. I started doing those um, diamond paintings. You know, it's like painting by numbers, but you have like little individual stones. And I'd sit up till like four in the morning, just doing that. Yeah, I'm not very good at being on my own. Not even a cat. I prefer the Loch Ness Monster. Why do I get to just be the tail? Because we're working as a team. This is what mother and son should do. There we go, Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> That is where we're going to end this Q&A. Thank you very much for joining me on this channel. My absolute pleasure. It's not going to be the only time that you're on this channel because... No, because I'll take him to more Barry Manilow concerts. Indeed. If you haven't seen that vlog, head over to my vlog that is, I think, from last week. Week before? Last week. Week last Friday. He can't remember. Can't remember because I've had COVID for a week. But I'm all okay, all negative. Um, Otherwise, but... I wouldn't be sitting here. Exactly. If you want to ask me more questions, head over to my Instagram DMs. They're always open. I will regularly do these Q&As. As I said on my last Q&A, I would try and do them every week. And I'm going to try and stick to doing them every other week and then doing vlogs Monday through till Saturday. But sometimes we'll do Sundays if there's something exciting happening. Thank you for joining us on this Q&A. I hope you have enjoyed massively. We will definitely be doing more of these with Mother because she has enjoyed it, clearly. Uh -huh. And if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to see more of the content of this amazing and wonderful human. Thanks for that shout out. Thank you for coming on these adventures and we'll see you later.